All right, friends, how are we all doing? Hope everybody's well. I think the time of shooting this video is uh, June 17th, Monday. So it's a day after hanging out at La Casa de Richard. And they had a soiree there last night. A lot of great music, performances, uh, art demonstrations, food. Uh, this is the kind of person that just finds people from all around the world, all different types of people, different cultures, and has parties and invites them. So it was quite the mix of people. It was so awesome. But, uh, I met a few people there who strongly recommended seeing La Catarata de Jumbia, or it's uh, the Jumbia Waterfall. And it's in the same area as La Catarata de Gokta, or Gokta Waterfalls, which you guys have probably seen that video before. Just massive waterfall. I think, uh, you know, over... Yeah, about 2,500 feet up. Um, the one we're going to go see today, similar to that, and it's it's in an area that has all the elements that can converge to make for really spectacular waterfalls. And uh, stayed over at Richard's place last night. It's in the jungle. It's in like the Highland jungle, and it was such a such an amazing uh, sleep. Um, I have a few few experiences in the Peruvian jungle from being down here for a couple years now. Guys, it's hard to put into words just how magical and special it is, especially when you sleep there at night. It's almost like, you know, the forest is alive and, and, uh, I don't know, it's going to sound weird. Like you can feel the spirits of the, of the forest and, and the earth while you sleep. It's almost like you, you can feel and hear the earth. Whereas if you're in a big city or in an area with enough people, there's so much interference that it blocks those those natural messages or that kind of signaling, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go to this this uh, waterfall, see what we can see, and uh, try to capture as much footage as possible for you guys. Uh, Richard sent one of his dogs, Diego, with me. He's super cool. He was like ready to go, and he just took off somewhere. I don't even know where he is, but he's gonna help uh, accompany me on the way. And I really appreciate you guys watching. And hopefully what we can see together today will be another reason for you to want to visit Peru. Because this place is just, it's uh, extraordinary. All right, so just a, a look at what the path is like so far. This was coming out of where Richard lives. And it's a combination of a lot of clay and stone. I don't know if this was mentioned yet in the previous videos, but... Doing this trek like some others barefoot. So uh feels really good on your feet, just mushing between this clay. I think I was telling you guys in a previous video, if you don't already do this, make it a habit daily to try to get your feet, your bare feet on the ground. I know it's becoming like a you know freaking new age cool thing to do. Oh grounding man, yeah, you're gonna be grounded. But for real. Humans have been barefoot for a very long period of time, and uh, we were doing just fine without shoes. And if you really start to look at a lot of our problems, it's because we're just we're just like absorbing all of the the interference, the disturbances in the air from people's own stress and thoughts and. Cell phones, other wireless signals, electro electromagnetic radiation, um, sounds, traffic, pollution, and it gets in our body. So, just like all electrical systems have a ground, our bodies need that too. It needs to, needs to put the stale, stagnant energy that might be interfering with our circuit back into the earth, right? So uh, yeah, you should definitely, definitely start practicing that if you don't already. Look at this silly boy. <laughs> he said, I'm hot. I'm taking a little bath. <laughs> Diego, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Tiene said, you thirsty, buddy. All right, guys, so now we just entered a area 
that has what's, to me at least, seems like the most lush vegetation for the local animals to munch on. Saw a couple horses, but wow. This is, I mean, look how green it is. And this place gets so much rain. I would imagine that all the plants are always happy. You can hear the falls. They are getting closer. There's a nice shot of the falls in the background. It looks like somebody lives there. Oh, that's amazing. Another Ted Kaczynski. All right, guys, check this out. Just got to a clearing. It looks like some sectioned off farming property. But look, I believe that's Yombia. But not quite sure because there's another waterfall there. One up there. And then one down there. So, four waterfalls you can visibly see. But yeah, guys, this is just spectacular. It's like you're in another, another time. Another another era of existence. It appears we have reached a possibly inhabited homestead. And guys, just look at this. I mean, this is, wow. Few people live here. Oh my God. Guys, like in every other video, the the, the video, the, the lens is not going to pick up what what is here. It's whew, well, it's just like these. I don't even know what kind of rock that is, but it goes flat up. There are trees and vegetation growing off of it, and just a waterfall cutting through. And then this thick, thick mist, which is blanketing the top, which I think is from all the water evaporating from yesterday and then the sun we had this morning. It's unreal. Diego is happy, that's for sure. Look at this grass. Come on, this grass. Amazing. All right, so I honestly don't know where to go next. Gotta go find some people. All right, guys, look at this. Just stumbled upon what looks like a big alien lemon tree. It kind of looks like limes there, but these are a mixture of like a GMO lemon or I don't know, some sort of mutated grapefruit. Guys, check it out. So just shook the tree and open up one of these things. And definitely is a combination between like a thickly, like a thick rind lemon and orange. And it has, has a smell between the two, like a tart orange. So I don't know if I should eat this thing or what, but we'll give it a try. All right, guys, so got back on the path. And if you look to your right, which is... That's in the direction of southwest. Look at this view of the mountains. Guys, it's absolutely silent. It's incredible. It's like heaven on earth. Something you see in dreams. God, I wish you guys could all see it. It's unbelievable. All right. Estás feliz, buddy? 
You happy? All right. So apparently we have to go back onto this road until we reach the five kilometer mark. All right, guys, cool. Check it out. So we're rounding this bend, and you can see that first waterfall that Diego and I had came upon, but we went off the path and ended up in some farm field, which is great. It was a it was a very unexpected but pleasant detour and found that lemony orange tree and I uh, had some had some cool moments there. But uh yeah th this is the path. This is where we're supposed to be. Alright. Getting close and came upon some cows also known as Baca. V A C A. Nice buddy. Good work. Ooh, perfect timing. <laughs> you can't tell me that these aren't some of the happiest cows, bovine creatures in or on planet Earth. I thought that while down in southern Argentina, but I don't know. These these might have the best life. Look at this. We just came upon a little homestead. People actually live here, man. That's amazing. Hola. Hola, Senor Perito. Just awesome, man. Awesome way of life. People that live off the land. Hey, buddy. Hola. You want to say hi? Oh, you're actually muy amable. Very nice. Say hi. Say hi, guys. <laughs> I know. Who's this guy? There you go. I always, I always think about this when I see dogs greeting each other by the butt smell. What if we did that as humans, you know? What if we're like, yeah, normally I hug, but can you just turn around and I'm just going to sniff your butt. Don't get freaked out. <laughs> and that's, you know what? I, I wish we did do that as humans because... I'm gonna keep walking here. You guys get acquainted. Thanks for your hospitality, bro. You wanna come with us? Come on, Ben. Ben, Ben, Ben. Yeah, vamos contigo. Or con nosotros. Hola. Buenas. <laughs> uh, vamos a robar tu perro. <laughs> Pero bien? Estás bien? Bueno. Uh, me encanta tu casa y campo. It's muy linda. Hermoso. Sí, Quispes. All right. Sí. Ah, uh, sí. Uh, voy a la catarata. All right. Maybe we have another partner in crime here. <laughs> she's like, she's like, where are you taking my dog? Anyway, I kind of wish that we, you know, <laughs> completing this, this ridiculous tangent, I kind of wish we did greet each other like that, like animals do, especially dogs. Because you can really tell a lot about someone by how they smell, you know, the smell that comes off of them. And we're just, everyone's afraid of their own smell, you know? Oh God, I'm gonna shower all the time and I don't want people to smell my true scent. Look, <laughs> Elenka, if you're watching this, I already know what you're thinking. I'm not saying that we have to be, I'm not saying that we have to be filthy, disgusting animals, right? And just living in our own shit. But there's a, there's a balance, right? You don't want to be too clean, right? You don't want to be too sanitized all the time. And as a matter of fact, you can feel free to do research on this. That's partially why a lot of us are so sick. We're constantly sanitizing ourselves, right? You are killing and destroying some of the necessary bacteria and other microorganisms that are all around you and on you that just help you to be healthy. I don't know all the science. I'm not going to act like I do. But you've heard of the terms flora and fauna, right? Like the flora, like all the parts of the plants that are expressing themselves with their flowers and 
and and the sweet nectar that is inside that it's gonna say hey, come come take from me and then spread and the fauna is like what like the fungi and all the stuff that's kind of like in the earth like we need to be immersed in that and if we're constantly bathing and washing it off with ah stepped on a stone with commercial commercially produced products with harsh chemicals then it just it takes all the necessary stuff that's on us off of us and then you live in a sanitized box and you wonder why you get sick and the winter comes around you're like oh i'm gonna get a cold or about the flu it's the fact that you're not outside as much and you're in a box breathing the same recycled dirty air even the summertime too with your air conditioner and you're getting less sun you're not as exposed to the earth and feed on the grass and you know things like that we need that we're supposed to be one with nature well yeah long rant but yeah i still believe we should sniff each other's butts all right reach the approximately the five kilometer mark three miles about and we have to go left to jumbia <laughs> not the most conspicuous sign but here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, I was not expecting this would be like this. Guys, literally here by myself and now with these two dogs and just us and the forest. And it's, wow. Similar vibe to uh, Gokta. But yeah, we'll see. So that's a little dicey, actually. It's going on three o'clock. Sun sets around six. I think it's at least another hour and a half of walking up to see the falls. But uh, whatever. I'll walk through the forest at night if I have to. All right, just came upon one of the first lookout points, or as they say in Spanish, Mirador. So we're actually on the, the other side of these mountains. Guys, it's just, wow, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, seriously, guys, I don't know how to describe this with words. It's like, Diego's happy. It's like witnessing your own planet for the first time. And it's so beautiful, so magnificent, that it seems foreign. Wow, look at this, guys. It's like, I can only imagine there was probably dinosaurs roaming this area at one point in time. I can only imagine what the species was like before this. Look, look that's where we came from. Uh, Cuispis. Very small town of Cuispis. And walked up uh, that road and then snaked into this side. Wow. Oh my god. This is one of the coolest views I've ever seen. No exaggeration. So it appears as if Jumbia is over there and the place where you came from by accident actually had four other waterfalls. So this place is just, it's, it's filled with them, unreal. All 
All right, we're getting close to one of these falls. All right, guys, check it out. Wow. We're making the approach together. Oh, wow, perfect timing, too. Look at that. Wow. Oh, man. Oh my God, guys. Wow, literally perfect timing. It was, it was uh, pretty overcast like five minutes ago. And right as we made the approach here, the sun shot through at the perfect angle, gave us a rainbow. Oh, wow. And look at the other dog. He's loving it. You see him? <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow. This is totally worth it. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Oh, wow. Guys, it is so beautiful. All right, we're going to walk through together. It's a little misty. Here we go. Oh wow. Let's try to get to the other side before the lens fogs up. Alright, we're still good. Let's show you the other side here. Oh wow guys. Unbelievable. Wow. Dude, everything is so green. There's moss everywhere. Oh man. Should probably be swimming in there naked, but for the sake of time, we, have to, we must continue on. All right, approaching the second waterfall. I don't think this is Jumbia. Because they say it's pretty big, but check it out, guys. Wow. And that one merges with that one up top. Unreal. Just beautiful. Diego, get out, buddy. You like it? <laughs> These dogs are so happy, it's great. Well, it looks like we have finally arrived after almost four hours of trekking to it. This is La Catarata de Jumbia. And wow. What a sight. Jeez. Dude, it almost doesn't look real. And especially with that fog coming. Wow. Wow. Guys, it's so high up too. This was totally worth the trek. Just to see this place. The craziest thing is that there were not any other humans there. We're here, and we have this guy we picked up, and Diego down there from La Casa de Richard. Come on, vamos, come on. Vamos a cruzar la puente. We're going to cross the bridge. Oh man. <laughs> Look. Diego's not so sure. <laughs> oh man. Look at this. Wow.
Oh, guys, this would be such a cool area just to hang out. Like, you could literally just kind of sit right there, get your feet wet, get some sun in the earlier part of the day. Wow. And just look up. Oh, my God. It's like, it just reminds you of a prehistoric era. I feel like there's going to be pterodactyls flying in the sky and we gotta be careful because the dogs are gonna get eaten by velociraptors and then they'll get eaten by Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> what do you think Diego? Get down bud. He's like, I don't know but we gotta keep going. Alright we're getting a little farther up here. Guys, there's nothing I can tell you to describe what this is like. That rock face is so, so massive. Wow. Just look way up there, there's trees that are kind of reaching towards the sun. Wow. This is La Catarata Jumbia in Quispes, Peru, two hours north of Chachapoyas, in all of her grand majesty, Catarata Jumbia. Try to not die while filming. <laughs> oh wow, guys! Unbelievable. I like you see the valley opening up in the back. Our buddies, our buddies don't want to get too wet. <laughs> He's got this look on his face in the back, like, "Can we get out of here, please?" I've already seen this. I live here, man. Guys, you can hear the wind too. It was just like Gokta. Gokta was definitely more powerful. But this is, this is still something to behold, wow. Wow. Get a little closer. Guys, it's just massive. Absolutely massive. All right, guys. I think that'll do it for uh, La Catarata de Jumbia. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, this has been by far one of the coolest excursions I've ever been on in my entire life. I'm going to try to upload this as soon as possible. I hope you enjoy it. Um, please, if you do anything before you die, get to this area of Peru and come take this hike. It is, I, I mean, I'm speechless and baffled simultaneously by the beauty. And it was so cool. I had a chance to come with Diego, the dog of Richard, and then meet the other dog coming up who helped to kind of, uh, get us here and, and not leave us stranded. So, yeah guys, this is uh, uh, the Yombia Waterfall, Huispis in Northern Peru. Love you guys, thank you so much for watching.